Hello guys, welcome to my 2012 Barclays Premier League predictions. Uh, I'm going to do this briefly, I'm not going to get into much about it. Uh, two things I want to say first though is I'm a neutral, so none of these opinions are going to be biased towards certain teams. And also, I'm used to predictions. Don't slate me, I just want you to explain why you disagree with me. I want you to say what you agree with and what you disagree with, and I want you to express your opinions. I want the comment section to be sort of like a discussion box. And I want to hear what other people's opinions are. These are just my opinions. I am awful. I am woeful at predictions. So don't slate me. Um, but do explain why you disagree with me. I want to hear people, other people's opinions. Let's jump straight in. 20th place I gave to Crystal Palace. Basically because they lost Ian Holloway. They needed that spirit in the dressing room to lift the players and to keep the spirits high. And without that, I don't think they can stay up. 19th place Fulham. They just don't look like they want it. They've got a good team, but they just don't look like they're bothered. I just don't think this is their year. I don't think they're good enough to be able to be complacent, and that's what they're being. 18th place, okay, to Hull. They're going to scrap until the end, I think. They, they've they got a lot of passion. They really want to stay up, but I don't think they're a good enough team. And You know, I just don't think they're a good enough team. Uh, put in the comment section if you disagree with that. Are Hull a good enough team to stay up? They've got the passion for sure, but I don't think they've got the quality. 17th place I gave to Norwich. Um, sort of the opposite of Hull. I think they've lost the passion. They've been in the Premier League for a bit, a couple of seasons now. But I think they have got the quality to stay up. And I think quality is going to prevail over passion this time. With the battle between Norwich and Hull, I think Norwich will get 17th place. I think Tete and Wolfswinkel will keep them up. 16th place, Sunderland. Average. They're just an average team. There's nothing stand out about them. There's no nothing about them really. But I think they'll get 16th because there's nothing really weak about them. They're just a bit boring at the moment. But hopefully Gus Poirier will change that. 15th. Stoke. Mark Hughes is integrating some new tactics to them. It's going to take a while to settle in. So I think they should be happy with 15th. 14th. Cardiff. Quite high. You know, I think compared to other people's predictions I've seen I think they do alright I, I think they've got a lot of passion and they've got a good squad I think they're going to need a few small signings but their players are overperforming which is a good thing their players are really going for it and I think that's that's why they've put them 14th 13th West Ham people really aren't underestimating West Ham at the moment I think they've got a quality quality team I think Andy Carroll He's always going to be compared to that £35 million price tag. But I think he's the best target man England have at the moment. It's a shame he's always going to be compared to that £35 million to, you know, price tag. But, you know, he's a great player. And they've got a great midfield. Kevin Nolan, such a leader. He's a great leader. And they've got Jar Jarvis. They've got a great team. They've got a good team. They just need to get a bit more depth. And they'll be they'll be up there. They could push for, you know... Europe next year, next couple of seasons, if they focus on getting a deeper squad. 12th place I gave to Aston Villa. They've got some star players. They've got Bakuna, who I think is quality. They've got Benteke, but they've got some weak patches as well. So they really need to just sort out those weak patches and focus on getting a consistent team. Yet again, depth. I don't think they've got depth. 11th, West Brom. They've got Jakob. They, there doesn't seem to be much about them, I think. They've got some quality players. I really like Jakob. I think they just need a star player. They need a standout player like Benteke. I think Benteke at West Brom would be quality. They need their own Benteke. Now to the top 10. I think this is where people are going to get a bit pissed. 10th place, I gave it to Swansea. Just because I don't think they're better than the other teams are in the top 9. I think Landrup's doing a good good job and I think they should be happy with 10th place but they haven't really improved much since last year, they've got Boney Lamar they're not really a step forward Boney's good but he hasn't been performing that well as I thought he would, you know he, he was banging the goal a game in the, the Eredivisie in Holland but it's steady and that's what you want, you want steadiness and now Swansea look like an established Premier League team, Ninth place Southampton I think people probably think they should be high at the moment. But I don't think they, they, they'll they they'll keep it up. But they are a good team. And I think they'll definitely stay in the top half of the table. Lovren, what a player. Lovren is a great player. And Osvaldo, they've got a good team. 
But ninth place, Southampton fans should be happy with ninth place. I think that's what they should be happy with. It's about building those foundations, and that's what they've done. Eighth place, Newcastle. Not much to say about them, really. They're a good player, good team. They've got good players. They don't look like a unit. They don't look like there's a connection between the players, which is a shame. Seventh place, Tottenham. Wow. People, some people would have put Tottenham in the top four. I don't think they've got a star player. I don't think they've got their Luis Suarez or their Robin Van Persie. After losing Bale, they ha they've replaced him. They've got good depth, but they haven't got that standout player anymore. Maybe one of the players will step up. You can't go out and buy another Gareth Bale. You have to hope one of the players step up into his shoes. But I don't think anyone looks like doing that. But they've got a good, deep squad. So they're building the framework now, and I don't think they're ever going to drop out of that top seven again for a good couple of seasons. Sixth place, Everton. I think Martinez is going to do a good job. The players look like they're getting on with Martinez. Lukaku looks unplayable at the moment. I don't understand why he's not in the Chelsea squad. He looks unplayable. I think when he goes to Chelsea next year, with these two years he's had at West Brom and Everton, he's going to be Didier Drogba standard. He really is. He's a great player. Fifth place, Liverpool. People might be like, oh, Liverpool going to be Champions League. You know, my father's a Liverpool fan. So I've been brought up almost as a Liverpool fan. I'm not a Liverpool fan, but my father wanted me to be one. They've got a good team, but I don't think they're better than the top four. But I think fifth place is a good, good place. I think it's about steady progress, and that's what Brendan Rodgers is installing in them. And it's about just that consistency. It's about building up that consistency and I'll be happy if I was a Liverpool fan with 5th place I think it's steady progress and it's about moving forward you can't just jump from 6th to 1st you've just got to accept it's steady progress 4th place Arsenal I think people think they might win the league I don't I don't think they've got the depth I think they've got a quality midfield I think they're lacking that Patrick Vieira and they're also lacking up front I think if Giroud gets injured they're screwed and I think if Flamin gets injured, they're screwed. They haven't got that tank that can really break up the opponent's play. Some people claim Arteta can do that. You know, he can. He can make the tackles, but he can't win in the air. You really need. They need to sign someone to replace Patrick Vieira, which they haven't done in years. Alex Song was there. He wasn't good enough. They need. They. I can't get it across more. They need that Patrick Vieira type player. Third place, United. They don't look that good under Moyes at the moment, but. And I don't think they're that good of a team. They're sort of in transition. The quality players are now old. And their youngsters still aren't stepping up. Um, they haven't got enough players in between that. Sort of like 23 and 26 year old bracket. They need some signings. They need a few signings I think. But they're, they're, they're a good enough team. They're not going to fall below third place. Even with uh, someone like Martin Yole in charge. They're a quality team. Second, Man City. They're, uh, they're, they're the best team in the league on paper at the moment. But they're not consistent at the moment. I think with these new managers, with United and City, it just takes time to gel. You you, you just need time for the players to settle in. And that's why I've put Chelsea first. Because Mourinho's been there before. He knows what the club's like. He knows how it works. He knows the staff. That's why I've put them above the Manchester clubs. Because I think Chelsea have got that security of Jose Mourinho who's been there before it's going to be a close season it's going to be one of the most unpredictable seasons so let me know your opinions express them in the comments I will see you next time guys for hopefully another episode of Blackpool Career I don't know when you're watching this it might be years ago but you know, check out the Blackpool Career if it's five, five, five months in the future go go back and check it out it's, it's, it's going it's, it's not going well but it's interesting I'll see you later, guys. Bye.